Hello everyone, I'm back again with uh, the brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max, which I picked up from my carrier. Um, and I just want to unbox it. I did actually um, unbox it outside on my ring camera, just to make sure that uh, it was in the box. <laughs> so this is going to be a quasi unboxing, but I actually have not opened it, just saw it to look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and give you my first impressions of it. Um, obviously, it's not a review because I just got it. So let's check it out. Let's go open it up here. Okay, so it comes in just the Apple box here. I got Space Black. I always wanted Space Black. It actually looks a lot more like a graphite kind of gray color, more so than a black. Um, I kind of like the Space Black on the 14 Pro Max. And this is a little bit... Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So this is a Pro Max... It just comes with this standard stuff. You've seen a million of these, right? You do have the USB-C, which is awesome now. Um, you know, that's it. Does it even have a little, I don't even know if it has a little, just a sticker. It doesn't even have a little pin. Oh, it doesn't need a pin ejector because it's actually, um, the it has the eSIM. Okay, so here it is, space black. It feels really nice. It's unbelievably light compared to my 14 Pro, I mean, 13 Pro Max. It's really noticeable so just fyi on that um there it is let's turn this on here let's see there we go we got the apple logo coming up yeah you can really tell the difference so the weight is is nice i'm not gonna lie it's um yeah i if you if weight is one of the factors and you're thinking about upgrading this feels really good in the hand uh, no doubt so there it is uh, 15 Pro Max. So, you know, I'll check it out. Um, I'm going to head and put my stuff in there, my information in there. But it looks really good. I really like it a lot, um, especially the weight part of it. I'm really uh, impressed. The size is a titanium size, kind of matches. Well, I guess it's uh, since I got the space black, it's a little darker. I was kind of thinking about getting that natural titanium color, but I always like the black. I don't know why. Uh, now that I look at it, I, maybe I should have gone for titanium only because uh, titanium only because um, I don't know. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. It's uh, it's more of a like a graphite kind of grayish, dark gray kind of color. But it's nice. I'm not going to complain about it. It looks pretty good regardless. Whoa, what's going on there? Uh, yep, that'd be tough language for me to follow. Uh, there, uh, so I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Uh, I'll go ahead and try a couple cases on since we're here. Um, Go ahead and pop it there. I don't want to drop it straight on the thing. Let's go ahead and try the um, Taurus case here real quick, uh, which I'm actually probably going to return because the um, the other case that I bought, um, the, as a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and put the Alofe case on there um, as well. The Taurus, the Alofe case I bought is actually just like the Taurus case, so you know, there's no point in really doing that. So let's see how that feels here. It pops right in. Yep, feels good. There it is, feels pretty good. Wow, I'm pretty impressed with the weight. Uh, the case does add a little bit of weight to it, especially, I don't know, it seems like it's a little bit more. Uh, it, it, it feels a little more impressive without the case, of course, but I'm not sure how heavy this Taurus case is. Um, I'll go ahead and try another case here. How about the Spigen, uh, Spigen Tough Armor? We'll go ahead and try that case on real quick. Since we're here, uh, I did do the sort of overview of these cases just uh just to you know kind of check them out before i actually had them um but uh i you know go ahead and try them on with the actual phone i didn't have the phone yet so um i should say before i had the phone i'm over here rambling a little bit so there's that you know i did try out the 14 pro max for a little bit but i just didn't see the the upgrade i'm curious to know how these cameras are i definitely feel it here well that looks kind of nice actually a little kickstand. Somebody wrote in the comments um, that the kickstand works good. Actually, I, yeah, that kickstand is not flimsy at all. But, well, there it goes. Okay, I missed Bubby. I'll, yeah, no, I put it down all the way. Yeah. Yeah, whoops. Okay, that's not... Don't speak Russian. Uh, okay, so let me go back here a little bit. Anyway, so I just wanted to kind of share that with you. Um, you know, the unboxing here and opening up of this new phone. Curious to know how it feels. This actually feels pretty good. It feels a little lighter than the Taurus case for some reason. Um, just to kind of, you know, share with you uh, the unboxing experience. And yeah, I think in Space Black, um, I think that's what it's called. Let me see. Uh, 
it is called oh i'm sorry it's called black titanium okay so that makes more sense as to why it's not quite so dark sorry for the the, the misnaming there so there it is okay well that's all for now i just wanted to share it with you i'll go ahead and show, show you the back of the phone one more time let me get this case off this speaking tough armor case holds on pretty good here yep so there it is um black titanium that's what it's called looks pretty good and yeah i'll share my thoughts with you those cameras are pretty hefty this the the lenses are pretty you can definitely tell the difference between the lenses uh, in terms of the bigness of them okay well that's all for now don't want to keep you too long i'm sure you've seen a million of these already uh not sure how many i mean i've noticed a lot of people do the regular titanium so that's the black titanium uh, again i would say it looks more like a graphite gray type of color uh, than anything okay well that's all for now again for the second time i hope you're well i hope your family's well and uh, take care of yourselves